we have started plastic technology chapter right so on the plastic we have discussed the classification of plastic right so in the classification of plastic there are mainly two types of plastic materials thermosetting and thermoplastic right so in the thermoplastic we can reshape our plastic material so in thermoplastic we can reshape our material or in simple word with application of heat we can make a component with help of shape changing of plastic right so we have discussed the different plastic molding processes so in the plastic molding processes our purpose is to make a component or product of plastic right so in the previous session we have discussed various plastic molding processes so in today's session our purpose is also to discuss various molding processes or in simple word manufacturing processes for plastic components right so in the thermoplastic we can easily reshape our material so based on this concept we can make any component with help of different processes so let us start our discussion on different plastic molding processes right so in the plastic molding processes our purpose is to reshape our plastic or say liquid plastic that is also known as a molten plastic so here i mentioned various processes of plastic molding it means various manufacturing processes of plastic so here i mentioned various processes in which thermoforming processes that slurs casting is there or slurs molding is there calendaring extrusion molding and laminating so let us start our discussion on this plastic molding processes right so here i mentioned the first process that is thermoforming process so here our purpose is to reshape our plastic with help of thermoforming process right so as per the name here what happens in thermoforming so here i mentioned the important point regarding the thermoforming process so in the thermoforming with help of pressure difference and with help of vacuum and pressure difference we can reshape our plastic material or we can give shape to our plastic material over some geometry right so this is the concept of thermoforming process so this is a very important point in thermoforming process with help of the vacuum and pressure difference we can reshape our plastic material so this is the concept for thermoforming so here as mentioned in this image here plastic sheet can be drawn or can be reshaped over some geometry and our final product will be ready as per this geometry correct right? so here i mentioned the vacuum and pressure it means with help of pressure difference or with help of air pressure we can form a plastic sheet or we can reshape a plastic sheet over some geometry so from this we can easily understand our thermoforming process right so first of all our plastic sheet or our plastic material is heated in first section and after that this heated material can be drawn or can be reshaped over some geometry or shape and after that we can trim our important part here as mentioned in this figure in thermoforming we can easily reshape our material and parts can be made after trimming off right so in this view we can easily understand this thermoforming process right so this is very important plastic molding process so here in this video we can understand the plastic forming process that is thermoforming so here you can make this type of component or this type of mask with help of this thermoforming so once again have a look on this process here this plastic sheet can be drawn with help of pressure difference and we can make our component right so this is the concept of 
thermoforming process right so in the thermoforming pressure difference is very important and with help of this pressure difference we can make any component or any shape right so after that let us start our discussion on extrusion molding so what happens in extrusion molding as per the name in the extrusion molding this process is very similar and we have discussed this process in shaping and forming processes chapter right so what do you mean by extrusion in the extrusion your purpose is to give the shape to your material through the die it means in the toothpaste the toothpaste is an example of extrusion process so in the toothpaste what happens when we apply the force to the cover or body the paste is coming out from the nozzle right so this is the concept of extrusion process and this concept is used in various plastic molding components or plastic molding processes right so here in the plastic molding we are mentioned the important points regarding the extrusion molding process right so in the extrusion it is very similar as the process we have discussed in the shaping and forming chapter so our purpose is to make or to extrude the plastic part through some opening or say die as per our requirement right so here with help of the liquid plastic we can flow over liquid plastic or we can flow over plastic material through some opening right and that is nothing but extrusion molding process right so here i mentioned the important view for extrusion molding process so with help of extrusion molding you can make any shape for example if you want to make a plastic pipe you can easily make with help of extrusion molding it means through the circular die you can make a pvc pipe or say hollow pipe with help of plastic material so you can make any shape with help of extrusion molding so here in this figure i also mention the important concept for plastic molding process that is nothing but extrusion molding right so after that here i mention the important points and important view regarding the extrusion molding so in the extrusion molding you can easily make this type of shapes right so here as per our discussion in the extrusion molding here i mentioned the view for the extrusion molding process so we have plastic raw material that is available in form of plastic spheres or plastic balls or plastic pellets so with the application of heat we can convert this plastic raw material into molten plastic that is liquid plastic and by passing through this plastic material through some die or opening we can make our component according to our requirement right so for example we can make a circular pipe rectangular cross section pipe or any geometric pipe plastic pipe with help of this extrusion molding process right so this process is very important after that we have mentioned the calendaring process so what happens in calendaring process so calendaring is very important process in which through the roller our material can be passed and we can apply the geometry or we can apply some impression on this fabric or material so this calendaring process is very important for textile industries for example on some fabric you can be this type of geometry or different shapes or say different impression on your fabric material right so in textile industries on any clothes or in on any fabric you can apply some impression or geometry with help of this calendaring process right so this process is used for finishing also so for fabric finishing this process is very useful right so here between two rollers at high temperature and high pressure our fabric or material can be passed right so this process is known as calendaring process so here set of rollers can be used so as mentioned here different rollers 
are arranged in form of gear cranes. So by passing through the rollers, you can easily make some geometry or say for finishing, you can pass your material through the rollers, right? So this process is known as a calendry. So let's have a look on the calendry process. So here in this video, I mentioned the concept for calendry. So between two steel rollers here, one roller is having a geometry to be made. So here our fabric or component is passed through this roller and this type of zigzag geometry can be made on this plastic or say our material. Right? So on the cloth or fabric, you can make any impression or geometry or any pattern with help of this calendaring process. Right? So this process is important for textile industries. Right? So after calendaring, let's have a look on slush molding process. So what happens in slush molding? So this process is also under category of casting or foundry technology. So we have discussed the slush casting process. So this process is very similar to the slush casting. Right? So here on the slush casting, this process slush molding is very similar to slush casting. Right? So what happens in slush molding process? So here I mentioned the views for slush molding process and important points regarding the slush molding. So in the slush molding, our purpose is to make a hollow components or toys with help of this process. So how can we execute this process? So here your purpose is to take a liquid or molten plastic in some vessel. Right? So this is the step one. It means you can start your process by taking a molten plastic in some vessel. Right? So after some time, you can rotate your vessel by 180 degree and just remove the plastic that is in form of liquid at center part. It means here cooling and solidification will not be completed. So after some time, you have to remove the liquid plastic that is in center part. So what happens? At the outer periphery or at the boundary, there will be a solidified plastic. It means your final product will be made in hollow form. So for hollow object or toys, you can use this process. So once again I repeat, in the slush casting, first of all, you have to take your molten plastic in some vessel. After some time, you can rotate your vessel and the liquid plastic will be separated from this vessel. And after cooling and solidification at the boundary, you can make a hollow object, right? So this is the, known as a slush casting, right? So here I mentioned the important points regarding this slush casting process, right? So in the slush casting, this process is very useful for making of toys and different hollow parts, right? So this process is useful where the inner strength will not be required. It means the inner part is hollow. Only outer geometry is important. So for the slush casting or slush molding, this process is useful for making a decorative parts or toys. So here I mentioned the different parts made by the slush casting. Right? So you can make a different toys or different decorative parts where only outer geometry is important. Right? So this process is very useful because the product made by this process is having very less weight because here inner material is not present. So you can make your product with help of this process having an outer geometry. Right? So after that here I mentioned the laminating. So this process is very usual and very easy process. So we can use this process in our day to day life. So what do you mean by lamination? Lamination is nothing but cover your object or product with help of plastic layers. Right? So in the laminating, you can laminate or you can cover your product with help of plastic material. Right? So this is all about this laminating process. In the laminating process, your purpose is to provide the plastic sheet over your component or product. Right? So this is all about the different plastic molding processes. Thank you all of you.